Okay, great. So what did we learn about last week? What were we talking about? I missed it. Yeah. Cain and Abel. Yes. yes. That's right. What did Cain and Abel do? Do you remember what Cain did? Cain did a bad thing, didn't he? Did Cain help his brother? Or did he hurt his brother? He hurt his brother. He did. And do you remember what Adam and Eve did? Um, they, they ate the wrong food. They did. It wasn't because it was poisonous fruit. It wasn't because it was yucky fruit. What was special about that? Why was it bad that they eat it? Because they, they didn't listen to God. Exactly. God said, mm -hmm, don't do that. And they did it anyway. So what, what what word did we learn yesterday? What word means that we're doing not what we used, not what God wants us to do, but what we want to do? Do you remember that word? It starts with an S. Ryan, what is it? Sin. Sin. Yes. Sin, Sin is where we do what we want to do instead of what God wants to do. Do you remember what color that is? Black. Yes, black. That's not a very happy color for our hearts, is it? My dad has black shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we see that we see that color everywhere. Mm hmm All right. Were you ready to find out what God did to fix the black in our hearts to fix our sin? Um, he made it red. <laughs> yes, we're going to find out in our story today. Do you remember what um, what holiday it is today? Easter. Uh, yes. Easter, that's right. Easter is a big part of our story today. The first part is called the crucifixion. Soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross and put up a sign reading, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. As they raised the cross, Jesus cried out, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Two thieves were crucified beside Jesus. The first sneered at him. Do you guys know what that means? Uh, what, Ryan? Do you know what sneered means? It's kind of a weird word, isn't it? We don't really say it very often. Sneered means that he wasn't talking very nicely. He was being rude to Jesus. He was yeah. being kind of mean. He was laughing at Jesus. And then he didn't, he didn't like him. Yeah he, yeah, he didn't like him. So the first sneered at him, but the other one said, Be quiet. We deserve our punishment, but this man has done nothing wrong. Did Jesus deserve to be on the cross? Did he do something wrong? Did he do bad things? Did he hurt people? No. No. So this was, this was like going to jail. This is what they did to people if they made really bad choices, if they did really bad things. So one of these guys, he stole from people. That's, that's something really bad, right? Mm -hmm. But did Jesus do something really bad? No. No. Do we do things that are really bad? No. Yeah, people do. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we know that we're not supposed to do. Remember our verse from last week? Yeah. Josiah, you remember our verse? I know you know our verse. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody. All have sinned awesome. and fall short. Of God's glory. So we all sin just like these guys. But did Jesus sin? No. Jesus no. didn't sin. No. He listened to God. He did what God wanted him to do. Then he turned to Jesus and said, Please remember me when you come into your kingdom. 
Jesus promised he would be with him that day in paradise. Do you know what paradise is? Anyone? Paradise is a beautiful place. People talk about places like Hawaii being paradise, something that's beautiful and wonderful and perfect. Do you know what kind of paradise Jesus was talking about? Was he talking about going to the beach? No. What no, was he talking that's... about? Yeah. What was he talking about? I think I heard it. Someone say heaven. 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 That's right. He was talking about heaven. Jesus was talking about heaven, about hanging out with, with God. All right, please remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus promised he would be with him that day in paradise, in heaven. The priests and the Pharisees taunted him by saying, if you come down from the cross now, we'll believe in you. Do you think they were really going to believe in him? They were being really mean. They were not happy with Jesus. They were just trying to make fun of him. It's not a very nice thing to do, is it? No. Mm -mm. At midday, a shadow passed around the sun and darkness fell. That means okay. around lunchtime. Is that how it normally looks around lunchtime? Is the sky really dark right now? <sighs> no, it's sunny outside. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. So this is showing us that something big was happening. God changed the skies to show how important this is. <laughs> At midday, a shadow passed across the sun and darkness fell. At three o'clock in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, My God, why have you forsaken me? It means he's wondering why God isn't there anymore. He feels like God has left him. It is finished, he called out. With these words, he gave up his spirit. You guys know what that means? He gave up his spirit. What does it mean? Give up the spirit. What does give up the spirit mean? Oh. Our spirit is inside of us. Died. That means that he died. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really sad. It's very sad. When the Roman soldiers felt the ground move beneath their feet and saw how Jesus passed away, they were deeply shaken. Surely he was the son of God whispered one in amazement. So you guys see that? The sky got really dark. There was an earthquake. Can you shake like there's an earthquake? Oh, oh no. I know earthquake. That's, that's pretty scary, isn't it? They had the sky go dark and there's an earthquake. And they realized something big was happening. Maybe Jesus really was God. Maybe he really was the son of God. Because the next day was to be a special Sabbath, Jesus' body was taken down, wrapped in linen, and carried to a tomb. A large stone was rolled in front of the entrance, and the soldiers were sent the following day to guard it. Do you know why they were guarding the tomb? Anyone know why? Uh, they did not want anything to happen. People had been talking about how maybe... Um, the Messiah, the Son of God, would rise back from the dead. And they didn't want anything like that to happen. They wanted to make sure he was gone. They did not like him. And they, they, they did not listen. Yeah, they did not listen. They did not like him. All right, so how big do you think this stone was? Was it maybe this big? Or this big? Or... Yeah. It was huge. It was bigger than your mommy and daddy. It was yeah. really big. It was like a big stone. Oh my goodness, do you see that stone? Yes. Whoa. It's bigger than that lady. Yeah. Micah, yes. you can, you can put, take yourself off mute if you want to answer. Yes. Micah said it's huge. Yes. Oh. Um, Really huge. Really huge. Do you see the soldiers? Yeah. Where and are they? Really. They are at the... Um, the um, what are they doing? 
They're trying to do something. They're sleeping. Yeah. Do soldiers what? fall asleep on the job? No. No, soldiers have to be strong and brave. They have to always be ready to go. But these guys fell asleep. Early on the first day of the week, before the sun had risen, Mary Magdalene and some other women went to anoint Jesus' body. As they came near the tomb, the earth shook, the guards were thrown to the ground, and the women saw that the stone had been rolled away. That's a big old stone. Who do you think moved that stone? Who moved that out of the way? Nobody. Nobody. It was it Ryan? It was the angel. Maybe it was the angel, yeah. You mean it, it wasn't the soldier? The soldier didn't decide that he was going to let Jesus' body go? Yeah. No. Oh, they don't like him. <laughs> yeah. So God moved that stone away. Let's find out why. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. Why do you think God moved that stone away? Uh, Let's find out. All right. The terror. Oh. As they came near the tomb, the earth shook, the guards were thrown to the ground, and the woman saw that the stone had been rolled away. Inside the tomb, shining brighter than the sun, was an angel. The terrified women fell to their knees as the angel said, Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Didn't he tell you that this would happen? Look and see. Then go and tell the disciples. So who's not there? They said he's not there. Who's not there anymore? Jesus. Jesus, where is he? Did he go to the store? No. Did he get tired no. of sleeping? What did he go do? Where is he? What? In heaven. Josiah, can you say that again? I didn't hear you. In heaven. Oh, maybe he's in heaven. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe he is. Anyone else have a guess where you think Jesus went when he left the tomb? Nothing. Nothing else. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> Let's find out. Galilee. What? He went to Galilee. To Galilee? Galilee? Oh, I don't even he know where home. that is. Is that next to Dallas? <laughs> is that near here? I think, no? I think Jesus was from, huh? That was his home. Yeah. Did he go home? Yeah. All right, let's find out what he did, what the woman did. The terrified woman fell to, oh. I already read that part, didn't I? Yes. Yes. And they fell to their knees. They were scared. And the angel said, he's not here. So the woman, afraid yet filled with joy, hurried away to tell the disciples the news. What news are they going to go tell the disciples? What are they going to say? Are they going to say, hey, let's go get a movie? What are they going to say? They're going to say what? He is risen. He is he risen. Is risen. Is, wait, is that a normal thing that happens after people die? Does everybody raise back from the dead? No. No, that's not a normal thing. So this is really special, isn't it? This is really special. So can you guys say it like Ryan just said it? He is risen. Can we all say that together? He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Yes. That's really big news, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. <gasps> there he is. Are you ready to find out where he went? Find out. Yeah. Mary Magdalene stood outside the tomb. Two of the disciples had come, had seen the strips of linen, and had left in wonder and confusion. Why do you think they're so confused? Um, I know. Why, Ryan? Why are they so confused? Because they... Um, because they... You tell them, I can't help you. If you saw your friend, and they, and you thought that they had, that they were gone, um, what would you think? I know. If your friend was gone, then... You know, it 
to? They thought Jesus was going to be there. Because dead, yeah. Yeah, dead people don't get up and walk around, do they? No. This isn't a zombie movie. This is not a zombie movie at all. Yeah, so people don't get up and walk around after they die. They they stay there. They were really confused. Yeah, I'm forever. Mm -hmm. I'd be really confused too. You need to go home. Mm -hmm. So now they can for everything. Mm -hmm. Now she's all alone. Jesus, or I'm sorry, just then she heard footsteps and a man asked, Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Thinking this must be the gardener, she begged, Sir, if you have moved him, please tell me where he is and I will get him. Who is that? Is that the gardener? Yeah, no. <gasps> That's right. That's Jesus. Although, although the man spoke only her name, Mary recognized that clear, gentle voice. She gasped. Can you guys show me your surprise look? <gasps> Can you guys gasp? <gasps> oh <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> she gasped and reached out, but Jesus said, don't hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to my father. Go and tell the others. So Mary rushed off with the amazing news. What amazing news did she go tell them? Um, uh, you don't need my help. That was, that was in the church thing. Like in yeah. church. The yeah. church. Yeah, this church was, in, this story was in church. What did, what did they go, what did she go tell them? Uh, that Jesus has risen from the dead. Exactly. That's amazing. Do you guys know why that's so important? It's important that Jesus came back to life. Mm -hmm. Remember how we talked about sin? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so sin breaks our relationship with God. Do you know in the Old Testament, God set up rules to help fix that relationship where people had to sacrifice animals to say that they were sorry. It was like giving a gift to God to say that they were sorry and God would forgive their sins. So now Jesus... Jesus became that sacrifice for us to fix our sins so that we could say that we are sorry to God without having to do sacrifices all the time. So Jesus is that gift to God to say that we're sorry so that we don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So our hearts don't have to be black anymore. What color do you think we're doing today? What color do you think is in this story? What, red. red? Why red? Because I make Jesus happy. <laughs> well, what what happened with Jesus that was that has to do with red? Uh, do you remember? When, do you remember when he's on the cross? He died. He died. Do you know what's inside of us that keeps us alive? Red. <laughs> What is it? It is what's, red. What's red inside of us that keeps us alive? Blood. Yes, blood. So our color is red this week to remind us that Jesus' blood paid for our sin. How awesome is that? Awesome. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, 83 billion. Yes, 83 billion. Uh, outer space. Yes, all the way to outer space. That's how awesome it is. And I also live in outer space. Oh, yes. I have a pretty background. Thank you, Micah. <laughs> Who can tell us what happened in our story today? What was the first thing that happened? Uh, um, uh, what happened to Jesus? Um, he, uh, <laughs> he died. What? He died? Yes, Jesus died. And then what happened? Um, what happened to Jesus after he died? 
Kenapa lu cuci set? Did he stay dead like everybody else this day said? No. No. Because he's God, he has he had the power to come back to life. Even the, that stone was so big no person could move it by themselves. But God can do crazy big things, right? Moving that stone was no problem for him. Bringing Jesus back to life was not a big thing. God did it. All right, so Jesus came back to life. But why did Jesus come back to life? The science? Do you know why Jesus came back to life? Why did Jesus come back to life? Because, um... What do you think? You did he come back to life because he was bored? Um, did he come back because he wanted to hang out with us? No. Did he come back to fix our hearts? Yeah. 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 Our hearts were full of sin. And yeah. Jesus can take that away. Do you, do you guys want to hear our verse for today? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I live in San Francisco. Okay. Thank you, Micah. All right. So where did, um, on the cross, do you remember when Jesus was up there, what happened to his hands? Um, you know what happened to his hands when he was on the cross? He, he was bleeding. Bleeding? Why was he bleeding from his hands? Because uh, he was... Um, nailed the cross. Yes, you see the nails there? Okay, yeah. all of them are up on the cross. Okay, so when we do our verse, we touch the middle part of our hand with our middle finger, touches the middle <coughs> of our hand. That means Jesus. Jesus. All right, can you guys do that? Jesus. Yeah, look, look, look. Sure. You do this hand and then this hand because both of his hands got nails in them. Jesus. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. Uh, Did you to life? I am the resurrection and the uh, life. You see that? The resurrection and the life. The one who <laughs> believes, because we believe in our heads, right? And in our hearts, the one who believes. Uh, will live even though they die. How cool is that? Even though our bodies are going to die one day when we're really old, our hearts will get to keep living because Jesus fixed the sin in our hearts. How cool is that? I think, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome. So, Jesus, can you guys do it with me? Jesus, Jesus, us. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection, I am the resurrection, and the life, and the life, the one who believes, the one who believes in me will live, live, even though he dies, even though he dies, yes. Do you guys know what the word resurrection is? It's a really big word, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Really have you heard that word before? You might have heard it this morning during church. Resurrection means come back to life. Exactly. High five, Ryan. There we go. Good. Yes. Resurrection is a fancy word that means came back to life. So Jesus came back to life, right? And yes. that means that even though our bodies die, our hearts get to stay alive. So we can be resurrected too. Are you guys ready to do the verse together? No. Yeah? All right. Are we ready? Are your hands ready? Your hands ready? All right. Jesus, Jesus. said to her, I am the resurrection I am and the life. 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 Yes. The one who believes 
will live even though they die. Yeah. Hey, did you know that you just learned a new language? Uh, what? That's how we say that verse in sign language, so that people who can't hear words can see the words. Jesus oh. said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Wow. There's wow. A, probably a few more signs in there, but these are the most important ones for this age group, for the verse. Um, all right, one more time together. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Good job, guys. You guys all did really well. So I'm thinking, Ryan, could you do this verse for us this week to share with the church on Sunday? Sure. Do you want to record yourself doing this verse for us? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, and then just just ask your dad to help you with that, okay? Because he'll do the video. <laughs> okay. And we have a special prayer that we're going to pray. So I'm going to show you. Okay. I don't know if you can see it very well, but. Um, so it says, because today we learned about what Jesus did for us, that he made our hearts better by giving his own life. Yes. So that's something that we can be thankful for, right? So this is a prayer to say thank you. It says, there's so much to be thankful for. I don't know where to start. So I will just say, thank you, God, and give to you my heart. Wow, that's so sweet. So why don't you guys say it after me, okay? Sure. There's so much to be thankful for. There's so much to be thankful for. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. So I will just say, thank you, God. I will just say thank you, God, thank you, God. and give to you my heart. And give to you my heart. That's so great, guys. Good job. All right. So, can you guys, you guys have made some pictures before. Our first week, the color was yellow, and we learned how God made everything, and we drew pictures in yellow of all the awesome stuff that God made and how He made the world perfect. Last week, we made pictures in black, in black that show how filled with sin our hearts are. This week, with our color red, can you guys draw a picture of Easter, of Jesus dying on the cross and coming back to life? Can you guys do that? Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Because we're going to put all these pictures together in the end, and we're going to make a book, and it's going to be really awesome. Can you guys do that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I don't need help with that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Next week, we're going to read another story, and it's going to have a different color, also about something that happens in our hearts, and we're going to do a science experiment next week with our story. Does that sound cool? Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm really excited about our science experiment. It's going to be awesome. What? My favorite. What? Yeah, all right. So next week, we're going to come back and have our story again at 2 o'clock. Are you guys going to be here next week? Yes. Yeah. Yes, awesome. Yeah. I love having story time with you guys. This was so fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Ryan, I'm so glad you're part of our story time. All right, guys, you have a great week. I can't wait to see your pictures next week, and I can't wait to see Ryan doing the, the Bible verse. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's too forward. Bye, guys. Have Bye, a good time.